Hi, my name is John Davis and I'm a wildlife biologist for the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. Part of the department's mission is to manage wildlife populations and their habitats so that current and future generations can enjoy them. Many people think that wildlife and habitat are things that are far away in the rainforest or the African savanna, but that's not true. Habitat's all around us, even outside your back door. I often get asked why we should care about wildlife and wildlife habitat, and though that answer will change according to a person's individual feelings or values, for me it's really simple. Everything's connected. You see, all living things benefit from a healthy environment. Healthy habitat for wildlife means clean air and clean water for us. On top of that, there are numerous health benefits to being in nature. Studies have shown that our stress is reduced just by looking at a tree. It's so important for each of us to do what we can to keep wildlife populations and their habitats healthy in Texas. That's why scientists from across the state came together and created the Texas Conservation Action Plan. This plan provides a roadmap for what each of us needs to do to keep habitats healthy and restore those that have been degraded. Our action plan identifies the conservation needs for each habitat and for species of greatest conservation need. Among many issues, it highlights the plight of the Blackland Prairie and the need to restore what we've lost of that once vast habitat. It also tells the story of grassland birds and cavity nesting birds struggling to cope with habitat loss. It covers the troubling issue of decreasing water quality and quantity in our state. And it also details the impact of invasive exotic species. But the Conservation Action Plan isn't all bad news. It also tells us how we can make things better. We can restore prairies by planting native grasses and wildflowers. We can remove invasive species such as Johnson grass and KR bluestem. We can improve water quality by reducing pollutants and replanting native vegetation. You see, just like our actions can degrade habitat, our actions can restore it. I'm proud of each of you for the work that you're about to embark upon. It's important and it will make a difference. I just ask that you do me one favor. Remember that life's better outside. And so when you're working on your projects, take some time to look around you and enjoy the wildlife and the habitat that you see. They need you now more than ever. And so on their behalf and on behalf of the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, I say thank you.